Download it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Of course, you can watch our DMV segments, too, which is always a winner. Hey, oh, it better way. have the DMV zone on it. <laughs> and Don't speaking of which, let's head on with the zone because we have much more stories to cover today. We're taking you back to the skies with air okay. travel because uh, starting this weekend, there may be some airline delays or even cancellations. It's all because of an upcoming uh, 5G deadline. We talked a little bit about it what? early in the week with the uh, Secretary of Transportation, uh, Pete uh -huh. Buttigieg. All passengers at jets need to upgrade their altimeters uh -huh. to deal with the interference from 5G. G, or they won't be allowed to land. Hugh Odom, who's the founder and president of Vertical Consultants, is live with us now to explain exactly what this is. I know it's a little complicated, Hugh, but just try to break it down as simply as you can. What exactly are we talking about that could create these problems? Sure. So to kind of explain this really quickly is 5G is the next level of technology and it provides a certain or uses a certain frequency called C-band. And C-band is kind of broken up in, let's say, different lanes. And everybody has their own lane that they're using. Well, 5G technology and the altimeters that planes use are really close to each other. Those lanes are right next to each other. And the concern with the FAA and the airlines is that there's going to be some interference because those the frequencies are really close and the altimeters are really important when you're landing a plane in bad weather, foggy conditions, et cetera. And if those altimeters are not working correctly, those planes are gonna have to be rerouted if they're coming into a destination, an airport that has bad, bad weather conditions. So every airplane in the United States of America now has to get this altimeter fixed uh, by this deadline? Well, about right now, about 20% of all domestic air, aircraft have not been retrofitted, have not been upgraded. Okay. And so you have about 20%, 35% of all international airlines or air, air, air carriers coming in don't have it retrofitted. So you have about, as I mentioned, 20% of the total air fleet across the United States that could be impacted by this July 1st deadline. Uh -oh. So this deadline is not new. This is actually something that was pushed back uh, to give these airlines time to uh, get this issue rectified. For those who do not buy this deadline, is uh, is this, I know Pete Buttigieg, the Secretary of Transportation, has talked about this, but what are the consequences for those airlines that don't retrofit their planes uh, to be compliant? Well, if they don't retrofit them, either they got to sit those planes on the sideline, which is going to be a problem because you take a lot of your uh, aircraft off the off the field with regards to being able to travel, or you're going to have to fly based upon certain conditions by which if you're going into those bad weather conditions where there could be that 5G cell tower technology interference with those altimeters, you're going to have to make sure as you enter into a landing procedure that if you can't land based upon those altimeters not working correctly, you're going to have to reroute, and that means you're going to have to delay mm. flights and flights as well. So how concerned mm. should passengers be? I know if we just break it down to just the nitty gritty, if I'm a passenger, I may not understand the technical aspects. How concerned should I be about my safety as I book a flight uh, beyond July 1st? Well, let's kind of look at this as a big th picture. You have only 20% of the total aircraft out there, so that's a certain percentage. And then it's only really a big issue if you're flying into bad weather conditions. So that lowers a little bit, but it still is a problem. And it's a problem, as you mentioned earlier, that's been going on for over two years, and we still haven't found a full solution to that problem. So if you're if you're someone that has a book to flight and starting after July 1st, the best thing I can tell you is look at the weather conditions of where you're landing and see if there's going to be an issue there. That's where that altimeter and the 5G cell towers are going to have a little bit of an issue possibly with regards to the landing procedure for that plane if that plane has not been retrofitted. You are wow. breaking it down for us. It, a it's lot. a concern. It definitely is. Yeah, it's we a concern. appreciate your time today. Uh, so yeah, if you're booking a flight, I definitely but think, think about there might it. be some concern. If you're on, your on this flight and the, now you're, you, somebody's waiting for you mm -hmm. at the gate and you have to reroute to another airport because you can't land right. because you didn't retrofit for the 5G. Come it on, it's time to upgrade. It could be a mess. Good okay. old America.